everybody. Welcome to the Jody Emery Show. Today's Thursday, December 1st, and Mark, my beloved husband, has 950 days left in his prison sentence until he's eligible for early release on July 9th, 2014. On December 4th, I'm celebrating a decade-long anniversary of sorts. That was the day I signed up to the Cannabis Culture Magazine forums online and first became really involved in educating myself about cannabis, about prohibition, and all about Mark and Pot TV and cannabis culture. So Mark and I like to celebrate that as 10 years ago that I first got in touch with him through the forums and uh, was just another one of many fans who wrote to him. And I guess at that time I was really uh, laying the groundwork for my future because who knew that 10 years later I'd be where I am today and uh, going through what I am with Mark. Uh, but we're staying strong thanks to everybody's continued support and in january on the 10th we're celebrating the halfway point reached of mark's imprisonment uh, including all the time that he spent before being extradited and when he was arrested january 10th is the day that he has served half of every day in prison that he's set to serve uh, until his early release so it's nice to see time going by it's already december I certainly miss him a lot during the holiday season, but I'll be visiting him next weekend and soon after that. And uh, thank you for your support and donations to get me there. Mark has written a blog about his letters of support that he's received, but his most recent blog, that's at CannabisCulture.com and FreeMark.ca, is about his letter getting published in the province newspaper. This was right after we heard about the four former Vancouver mayors endorsing legalization and Mark had me send a letter to the paper. The headline says politicos only say war on drugs is a failure after they've quit and it's Mark's letter that's written first. You can read this letter and see this uh, newspaper clipping in Mark's blog post at CannabisCulture.com and FreeMark.ca. Uh, they've used the FreeMark logo and a picture of me clapping in front of it again to illustrate who the letter's from. So, tea memory strikes again, you know, we get in the news, get the message heard. Uh, so definitely check out Mark's blog to see the posts that he made about it. Uh, he's also been keeping busy as usual with a lot of reading and writing and recently performed in a prison band concert performance. His band is called the Yazoo Five and he sent me this poster from the prison where they're advertising the uh, Thanksgiving weekend concert. So these are a bunch of prison bands and those are inmates that have gotten together and Mark's band Yazoo Five was playing from 6 to 7 p.m. You can read all about the songs that he played and how that concert went in the very same blog I mentioned before at freemark.ca and cannabisculture.com. So I'm happy for him keeping busy with um, music. Mark's letter, I think, was uh, inspiring for the politicians here because Gregor Robertson, the mayor, also agreed that prohibition is a failure. And we've had some backing from a number of different groups coming out recently. At my last show, on my last show, I told you I was off to a rally uh, against a conservative MP at their office uh, organized by leadnow.ca to protest the crime bill. So I went to that event and met some other people and that was fantastic. We uh, got our message heard and there are a few photos of that online at facebook.com slash Jody Emery and at cannabisculture.com. You can see articles too. And while I was at that rally, I got a news tip from an old friend in the media who said that Stephen Harper, the Prime Minister, was coming to town the next day on uh, Friday. So we quickly got some signs made. We went to Science World where Stephen Harper was meeting with Christy Clark, the Premier of BC, and we protested against prohibition and the crime bill, and he even drove by just a couple feet away from us. Uh, we got some photos of it, shaking his head through the window at our very reasonable messages, and Christy Clark, the Premier, who follows me on Twitter, got a little tweet from me saying, Prime Minister Harper disagrees, but Christy Clark, she knows better. So she understands, but money is very uh, attractive, and unfortunately, she's looking for a lot of that from the federal government to cover this crime bill. But we'll continue to protest, we'll continue to get news coverage. There was a lot that came out of that event. Uh, if you go to CannabisCulture.com, I actually posted a blog with all the news tidbits where our message was quoted there. Uh, Mark wanted me to back up his blog with all the media coverage, so you can find that all at CannabisCulture.com. 
As I mentioned, we are having a lot of organized groups come together to fight this crime bill and to fight against prohibition. I've told you about Stop the Violence BC, which you can see at stopthevioencebc.org. And there's a new group that just got launched called the Canadian Drug Policy Coalition. It's headed by Donald McPherson, who's a great man, who's done a ton of wonderful work for our cause and just the cause of harm reduction and and progressive reform. So he's bringing together as many people as he can to join this group calling for an end to prohibition and a health-based approach to drugs instead of a criminal approach to drugs. Uh, they've been in the news a lot and I went to the press conference and we got uh, some news coverage out of the metro. So the headline is goofy, new group not high on drug prohibition. But the subhead there says Prince of Pot's wife pleased that more are on board to end prohibition and I got some quotes in there. I'll put it, put it up on Facebook and you can check it out there at facebook.com slash Jody Emery. But suffice to say, we are getting our message out there in the news and that's a great thing to do. That's what we continue to try and do all the time. If you haven't yet checked out my Sun TV news interview, I was invited onto the Conservative News Network this week and I got a good six minute segment with Michael Corrin on his show, The Arena. Uh, it's uploaded at POT TV Network on this YouTube channel that you're watching now, and you can see it at CannabisCulture.com. Uh, it was quite an interesting discussion there, a conservative television network. It's like Fox News North, but if you tune in and watch it, uh, let me know what you think. Other people have said I did a pretty good job of explaining why conservatives should be against prohibition too. Um, so definitely check that out. It's good to get our message into the news. There's another group called Normal, Women, Normal Canada Women's Group, and this is just starting across Canada. There's going to be a meeting on Wednesday next week, December 7th, at the Vancouver Seed Bank Vapor Lounge. That is at 872 East Hastings. I'll be joining with other women, and we're all encouraged to bring our big floppy hats to uh, kind of emulate the women's movement against alcohol prohibition. So come to that if you're in Vancouver. You can find out some details on my Facebook page too. I'll post some links to that so you can stop on by or maybe organize one where you live. I have a little giveaway idea here. Our dear friend Jeff Tech, uh, the husband of our um, old friend Michelle Rainey, who passed away last year, has given me a bunch of medicinal Michelle t-shirts and these are a limited edition v-neck white shirt and we have a whole bunch of them to give away so I want to give five of these away to viewers of the show and the way that we're going to do this is you'll send an email to Jody at CannabisCulture.com give me your address your name and the shirt size we have small medium and large and this one here is a large but send me an email and next week on my show I'll draw from everybody's names and I'll only read the first name and where you're from and then we'll ship out a t-shirt to you to thank you for tuning in and thank you for spreading the message and to remember some of the women including Michelle who have come before us to fight this fight that we continue to carry on so Jody at CannabisCulture.com and every show I'm going to do a giveaway, free mark t-shirts and other little goodie packs. So thanks for tuning in as always and share this link with your friends. It's a long show and I just have a few more things to say. In Lethbridge, Alberta, our friends and fellow activists are holding a free mark fundraiser. I mentioned it uh, two shows ago, but we'll put the information down below under the video. It's this Saturday. It starts at 7 p.m. at the Moose Hall in Lethbridge at 1401 Fifth Avenue and we have uh, giveaways, raffle prizes, there's food, music so go to my Facebook page again at facebook.com slash Jody Emery for details on that I'll be sure to post it and um, if you would like to hold an event for Mark please do so we always appreciate the support I'll send out some goodies if I'm not able to attend and it's uh, awesome that people are continuing to push Mark's message and remind others of what he's done and what we continue to do and with the holidays coming up, Cannabis Culture Online Store has decided to get rid of the shipping costs in North America. So from the, all, the month of December and onward, uh, we are giving free shipping on orders in North America. We're also doing a 10% off sale on everything in store, except Volcano Vaporizers, which we've already reduced by up to $100. So 10% off everything else in store. 
at Cannabis Culture Headquarters, 307 West Hastings Street, downtown Vancouver, and online at CannabisCulture.com slash store. We're just doing those changes today, so if you go online and you want to see what we have in store, uh, the, de the deals and discounts might not kick in until tomorrow or in the next couple days, but we're happy to serve our customers, and thank you so much for supporting Cannabis Culture. Uh, we're keeping our culture alive and thriving, and I thank you for helping us do that. That's pretty much everything I have to say today. I've got my notes. I'm going to tell you I've got a lot to say, but thanks for tuning in, listening to the message, spreading it around yourself, and always remember to support organizations and individuals who are helping others and trying to push our movement forward, even if you don't agree with them on everything, because who agrees with everything on anything? Be sure to support them where you are on the same page, and we'll get our message out there, and we'll make some progress a lot faster. Thanks for tuning in. Go to CanvasCulture.com and Pot TV and spread the word around. And free Mark Emery.